A judge has struck down Georgia's six-week abortion ban, ruling it unconstitutional. The law took effect back in 2022 after the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade. Here to discuss is ABC senior Washington reporter Devin Dwyer. Devin, thanks for joining us. Hey, good afternoon, guys. You know, uh, it's, it's great to be here on this huge case, which is really uh, great. a lot of eyebrows in the very conservative state of Georgia. You know, this uh, U.S. Supreme Court said there's no federal constitutional right uh, to an abortion. But what this judge said in this case is that there's a state constitutional right to it. Uh, he was appointed by a Republican. He said Georgia's constitution uh, protects the right to privacy as a fundamental right and that women have the decision, have the freedom to be able to terminate their pregnancy up until when a fetus is viable. So, Devin, let's talk about this ruling here. It comes just weeks after reports linked the deaths of at least two women to the state's abortion restrictions. If a woman is in need of abortion care, just how soon will they be able to access it? Well, this is a big change, DeMarco, and it takes effect immediately. For the past two years, women in Georgia could only access abortion care up to six weeks of pregnancy. It's now back up to 22 weeks. Overnight, several clinics told us that they plan to expand their abortion services immediately in Georgia, starting today, up within that legal limit of 22 weeks, which is uh, considered when a fetus is viable outside the womb. Well, let's talk about this, because Georgia's six-week ban, we mentioned it went into effect about two years ago. It was signed into law by Governor Brian Kemp, who is a Republican. So how have other Republican lawmakers responded to this recent ruling? As you can imagine, they're blasting this ruling as an activist decision from a judge and his personal views. They vow are vowing to appeal it. Uh, so this decision is likely not the final word in Georgia. In fact, uh, Republican state officials could appeal it to the state Supreme Court. The ruling could be put on hold uh, in the next few weeks. But for right now, as we said, the change is in effect and that very strict ban in Georgia uh, is not in effect. And there is a movement across the country as well. Just last week, a judge repealed North Dakota Dakota's near total abortion ban. So what do these recent decisions mean for strict abortion laws in other states? Yeah, North Dakota, another conservative state where a judge struck down this bad ban. Now, these state court rulings, DeMarco, do not apply nationwide. So uh, what they do show us, however, is that abortion rights advocates are finding some success in challenging these laws under state constitutions. So look for more challenges in the 13 states where these bans, near total bans, are in effect uh, to, to focus on the state constitution. And we are also seeing a big effort right now to amend state constitutions to put writing into those charters to protect a woman's right to end her pregnancy. Our thank you to ABC senior Washington reporter Devin Dwyer for that.